Hi, this is Kara Gott Warner, and thanks again for joining me for this quick fashion preview of the latest issue of Creative Knitting Magazine. In this edition, I'd like to share a sampling of the projects that you'll find in our March issue. It's hard to believe, but in just a few short months, the seasons will start to change, and along with this comes a need to connect with others through our love of knitting. So I thought it would be fun to introduce projects that inspire you to get out there and teach others the craft of knitting. You'll find a selection of designs that are perfect for the spring months because many of them are small enough so you can grab your materials and easily head out the door. In the spirit of knitting on the go, before we explore this exciting issue, I'd like to first leave you with a few handy tips. Number one, if your project calls for straight needles, why not try circulars instead? You can work the same way, but when you're done, they'll coil nicely in your knitting bag. Number two, in social settings, avoid patterns that require excessive counting of rows or stitches. Instead, go for projects with no shaping and simple stitch patterns that you can easily memorize. Number three, fill a small compact size makeup bag with various sizes of circular needles, travel scissors, and notions. This bag can easily be moved from one knitting bag to the next, so you're never left high and dry without your supplies. Number four, no stitch marker, no problem. You use a contrasting color yarn and make a slip knot as if you're casting on one stitch. Then cut a quarter of an inch below the knot and you've created your very own stitch marker. I welcome your ideas, so if you'd like to share your own tips, please contact me at editor at creativeknittingmagazine.com. So without further delay, let's jump right into some of these exciting projects. In line with the theme of this issue, we open with Knit Together, a chapter featuring a whimsical collection of compact, ready-for-fun projects which are perfect to take and make with others. Designer Daniela Nee created the fun-to-knit skinny sunburst scarf. If you're looking to play with color and learn a new stitch, this quick-knit scarf is a great option. What makes this piece unique is the all-over sunburst stitch pattern made by working a series of yarn overs which are dropped on preceding rows. This piece is featured in Chickadee from Quince and Company. Next on the list is X's and O's and I Love You, designed by Linda Wilgus. If you or someone you know is new to stranded color knitting, these wrist cuffs would be a great choice for a first time project. I also think that these daring cuffs would add that special little bit of edginess to your look. Featured in two stranded color work patterns in Cotton Supreme by Universal, these wrist cuffs are sure to be a conversation starter. If thoughts of knitting lace patterns make you cringe, there's really no need to fear because the projects in Lacy Looks will give you some good reasons to consider this timeless technique. With just a few yarn overs, increases and decreases, you can create exquisite stitch patterns. This chapter offers something for every knitter, from the most basic lace patterns as featured in Clear Skies by Shannon Mullet Bowlesby. This tunic is a great layering piece which is a smart choice for those early spring months. This everyday design was made with Therapy, a unique blend of wool, jadeite, fiber and silk from Southwest Trading Company. Designed by Diane Moyer for Karen International, the Cape Town tunic with its basic open work stitch pattern just might become a new wardrobe essential. Pair it with your favorite jeans or skirt or add a belt for a completely different look. This easy to care for tunic was made with Country from Karen International. If you feel ready for a challenge, cast on for the Delicata Capelet designed by Brooke Nico. This lightweight romantic piece is featured in Lace Merino Silk a luxurious blend of extra fine merino wool and silk from Carabella Yarns. With hints of lace and the elegance of kimono construction, Akiko's kimono, designed by Megan Goodacre, makes this simple and sophisticated garment easy to adapt the length to your taste. This elegant piece is featured in Bonsai from Barocco. The surface treatment chapter is where you can play around with knits and pearls by adding some topical interest to your garments. Try out some of these laid back looks that focus on design details such as ribbing and eyelets that add a new dimension to the look of your knits. First up in this group is Drop Stitch Dazzle. This piece was designed by Brooke Nico and is featured in Tiffany from Filatura di Crosa. This cotton and viscose blend yarn is made with just a whisper of metallic sheen, giving this understated design with delicate drop stitch accents just the right amount of sparkle. Our beautiful cover piece, Azteca, designed by Megan Jones, offers an interesting display of ribbing as surface design. This vest is made with Cascade 220 from Cascade, which accentuates the graphic rib pattern on this go with anything design. By Jill Wright, Scala is a great transitional top-down, no-seam yoked pullover made with baby alpaca decay from Plymouth Yarn Company. 
The graphically designed ribbed yoke radiates out to a central cable, created with the unexpected use of side drop stitching, giving a contemporary look to this traditional silhouette. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this short introduction to just a few of the projects featured in this new issue. Visit creativeknittingmagazine.com to see the full lineup of projects in the March issue. And please be sure to stop by my editor's blog, splendidsticks.com, for my ongoing tutorials, reviews, and designer interviews. Until we meet again, let's all knit together and create strong bonds and lasting memories.